Hi everyone, this is Jacob Marash from Phoenix Audio Technologies. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mount a Condor onto a TV mount. So, for this installation, first thing we're gonna need is a TV mount and a TV. In this case, I'm using a portable one just so I can flip it around and show you kind of the nuts and bolts behind it, but this could be uh, just a regular TV mount on a wall. Also, try to imagine there's a TV here. Again, for the purposes of this video, we got rid of it so you can see what's happening behind it. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is to go out and buy any kind of soundbar mounting system. So the one I have in my hand, we just purchased in Best Buy. You can go online. They sell hundreds of different types. They're all more or less the same. But again, this is just a, a typical soundbar mounting system. The one we got is $30. They should be in that price range more or less. So after that, you're going to need to use our Condor TV mounting brackets, which you can purchase from us. And what you're gonna get is just these two metal adapters we're gonna use with the soundbar mount. And then finally, with these, you're gonna use the two wall mount hooks that come with your Condor. So these should have been in the box, and we're gonna actually uh, affix these to the brackets that we had earlier. So let's look at what is inside of the box. The important part, is going to be one of these guys. So again, the different systems might vary a little bit, but you're definitely going to get something of this sort. In fact, you're going to get two of them. Um, what we have here is an upper arm, and that's what's going to connect to the actual TV mount, and then a lower arm, which allows you to do adjustments. In our particular case, we're going to get rid of this bottom arm. So first step before we do that is going to be to take the Condor wall mounts and to actually screw them on to the TV mount adapters. Uh, to save us time, I already had that done. So this is what it's going to look like. Again, just the brackets connected to those hooks. So when we, we're done with that, the next step is going to be to unscrew this, get rid of the bottom arm, and instead we're going to fix our brackets to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So we got our brackets that already had the wall mounts uh, connected to them hooked onto the upper arms. Now when you do this, just pay attention. In this particular system, there's this little soft gel uh, sticker on this side. That's meant to be right up against the television. So make sure that if that's the case, your hook is facing forward. So you just want to make sure you plug or connect this bottom piece the right way. So we have it done for both pieces, and now that we're good on those, what we're going to do is we're going to find the location behind here that we're actually going to uh, hook the upper arm. So there's going to be a screw somewhere in here, and this particular mount, the screws are right there. So we're going to have screws right around here. They're going to be different in every, in every mount. We're going to undo those screws, take them out. We're going to choose which hole position we want to put in there. So it can be uh, higher if you have a smaller TV, or lower if your TV is larger, and we're gonna screw that into place, and that's actually gonna connect our arm into the TV mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we're done basically affixing the upper arm to the back of our mount. Again, the only thing we did there is we took the screw out, uh, we put the arm in between the TV mount uh, and the screw, we screwed it into place, and now both arms are in place. I didn't tighten it all the way because we're going to still need to use some of its flexibility, uh, but now we're, we're ready to put the condor in and actually strengthen everything when it's located just the right way. So let's flip the TV around. And again, we have two locations where we have uh, maneuverability and flexibility. Again, it's at the upper arm, and it's also here at the bottom arm. Now, when we bring in a condor, please notice that the condor can have these hooks uh, locked into place in four different locations, either the outer two or the inner two locations. I usually tend to use the inner ones, but again, whatever works with your TV mount uh, should be just fine. 
So what I'm gonna do now when everything is still loose, I'm gonna find the right location for it. All right, so I found the right location. I had to move my arms, angle them a little bit so it's, it's correct. I made sure that the condor is actually popped in place and it's locked and it's good to go. At this point, you can always use a level if you need to make adjustments. If the condor is not exactly level, you either raise one arm or, or fix the other one. You can also bring one arm up. And again, the whole point is for the condor to be level, to be right underneath the TV, not too far from it but just to look, uh, to look good and to be aesthetically pleasing. So that's it in a nutshell. All I have to do now is just to make sure I strengthen all the nuts and bolts behind and the condor is all set up and uh, connected to our TV mount. Just plug in the cables and you're ready to video conference. Thank you for watching, hope that helped. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll be more than happy to help you out.